Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope you are doing well at home. Today we are going to talk about kinetic energy. This is the third topic of work and energy. Okay. So let's talk about kinetic energy. So first of all we will look at the definition of uh, what actually kinetic energy is. So basically kinetic energy is the energy possessed by a body due to its motion. So now they are talking about motion like energy possessed by a body due to its motion. What do we mean by that? It says that whenever a body is moving like uh, whenever when a body is in motion so we can say that the body is having kinetic energy. Okay. The second point it tells us that it is denoted by E with subscript K that is equal to half mv square. Basically this is the formula for kinetic energy that is half mv square. In the next slides we will derive the formula for kinetic energy. Now talking about examples like uh, how kinetic energy is deeply related with daily life examples. So we can say that when a cricket ball is thrown like when you throw a cricket ball there are two situations either it goes up in the air or it moves on the ground so we can say that it is having energy and this energy should be termed as kinetic energy similarly when you push a car and it starts moving so it has some kind of energy that's known as kinetic energy now these are the other examples of kinetic energy. Shooting a rubber band is an example of kinetic energy. Water falling over the fall. Similarly a yo-yo in motion is also having kinetic energy. The last is when you release the air from the bow it starts moving. So we can say that it is having kinetic energy. Based upon these examples we have concluded that whenever a body is in motion it is having kinetic energy. Okay, now let's talk about the derivation of formula. Okay, we are going to find out the formula for kinetic energy. How kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. Now, before we derive the formula for kinetic energy, we are assuming a situation. So, let's say we have got an object and we term it as m. m means, let's say we have a mass, okay. So, before the body sets into motion, its initial velocity is zero because it is already in motion. So, we can say that the initial velocity of the body is zero meter per second square. Okay. Now, when a body is sets into motion, so kinetic energy is possessing the body. Now, the thing is that when the body stops, so its final velocity will be equal to V. Now, we are not taking uh, any digit for that because we are going to find the formula for kinetic energy later on when we are solving a problem so we will take vf is some kind of value so now in the previous chapters like in the previous topics we have discussed work and that is equal to force multiply displacement we can denote force by f and displacement by s so let us call this equation a now we need to find out the values for force and displacement in order to derive the equation for kinetic energy so you might be aware of the fact that in the previous chapter we have discussed newton's second law of motion newton's second law of motion says that force is equal to m a m stands for mass and a is for acceleration so when m multiply with acceleration it gives us force so this is the first equation like we have derived we have already known the formula for force this is equation number one now according to the second equation of motion we have 2as is equal to vf square minus vi square you already know that vf stands for final velocity and vi stands for initial velocity now in order to separate s from second equation of motion you must take out the page and separate out the value for s so i have already derived the formula for s that is equal to vf square minus vi square divided by 2a so let us call this equation number two now if you can see we have got two equations that is equation number two 
it's equation number one and equation number a so what you have to do you just have to put equation number two and equation number one in equation number a so we get w is equal to kinetic energy now there is a point why we are relating work with kinetic energy because when we are doing some work so the work is being converted into kinetic energy so that kinetic energy is equal to force multiply displacement so you can simply you can simply put down the values for force that is ma and displacement vf square minus vi square divided by 2a so now we have assumed two situations that vi is equal to zero before the body sets into motion vi is equal to zero and vf is equal to v so if you put vi is equal to zero right here vi is equal to zero so no need to write zero here we are interested in vf so vf is equal to v square so i have written v square here and this m here okay this a cancel out with a so we are left with mv square divided by 2 so hence we have derived the equation for kinetic energy now the thing is that uh, if you want to make your concept clear on this equation please take out your page and do write this equation in order to have a better understanding please do rewind the video for that thank you so much see you in the next video